Hi Libra, this is your reading with me for May 2021 for Soulmate slash Twin Flames. So essentially how this reading works is that we're going to look into your side of things, the other person's side of things, so whether it's your Twin Flame or Soulmate, or if you're unsure, then, you know, it makes sense too. Because um, I know a lot of people are unsure and they, they don't know whether it's a Twin Flame or a Soulmate, so I think that this can also be a reading series that can really sort of help in terms of messages and then we're also going to look into the outcome of things as well so I hope you're doing well and also just wanted to very very quickly mention that if you would like to win a free reading with me check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month if you would like to purchase a private paid reading information is also down below for all the readings uh, they're done within 24 to 48 hours and the last thing I want to mention is my intention items are on Etsy so there's handmade bracelets necklaces anklets, pom-poms, tassels, broidered cards which you can put under your pillow, your wallet or your purse which are intention cards and you can check out the review section to see how other people have seen results with these items. You know there's also crystals, divination charms, coins, pendulums, um, face masks, uh, cloths, bowls etc, sage as well. So yeah do check it out and everything is down below so yeah, definitely do check it out um, if you are interested and yes let's begin Libra and see what's coming through on your side of things first okay so let's have a look Libra okay okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get four cards for your side and then the rest of the four cards will go to their side because there's a chunk of cards that have come out and I can see them. I think when you can see tarot cards, you can't unsee them, right? So we have to we have to take them. And uh, of course, they are a huge part of the reading. So what I'm going to do is they kind of came out in a pile like this, right? So next three cards are yours. So have got the three of cups here, got the devil, and of course, we've got the nine of swords. Now on their side, we've got here the ten of wands, the empress and the emperor. You know what is really fascinating here is that yes, they have got the empress and the emperor. Now to me, this really does represent the sense that on your side, you just want to take control. You know, you want to take control of your life. You don't want to feel like you continuously have to chase after someone. You don't want to be stuck in a toxic cycle or situation. Some of you have really dealt with a lot of pain and a lot of frustration. And for some of you, it just keeps going and going and going and there's definitely this sense with the devil of things just taking a toll on you and you feeling like you know is this normal why am I so obsessed with this person some of you are really obsessed with your twin flame or soulmate but something I see here is that they do cause a lot of stress and anxiety and overthinking within your soul and yourself okay so what's really interesting also with the three of cups is that not all of you, okay, just want to mention that, not all of you, but some of you are in a third party kind of situation. Um, not, again, not all of you, okay, so if you know that you're not, you're, you're definitely not, but some of you know that you are in one, and that can, again, just really heighten this energy of wanting control, like want, not wanting to be stuck in this kind of situation. The Three of Cups here shows that you might also be thinking of sort of trying to let go, but then you kind of get stuck back into things again. You're trying to let go, you get stuck back into things. That's the devil, right? It's almost like this person's got a bit of a hold on you and you can't focus on anyone else you try to uh, talk to other people you just don't find that same kind of connection anywhere else and that again is the king of wands of you wanting and really trying to break free but again sort of getting stuck in the same cycle and that's what I see here for you however what I will say is on their side the ten of wands here shows them wanting to end certain patterns and certain cycles of things that they've been doing over and over again. The Ten of Wands shows that it's too burdening for them. Actually, you know, creating this cycle with you has been so burdening and very, very difficult that they actually want to straighten out their life. They want to be much more honest, much more progressive, much more understanding, much more mature. And I really feel the Empress and the Emperor, this is about them wanting to take action. Now, it's a gradual progression, okay, that goes over the span of months. May, I really feel, starts their progression into them understanding that, you know what, I do want a beautiful long-term partnership. I don't want to be someone who is constantly causing stress and anxiety or being emotionally una unavailable to the other person. One thing that also strikes me is you've got the emperor. Now, the emperor is very well known to just be someone who is not as emotional 
but still can be very supportive. So this is what I mean by, you know, they know that they may not be necessarily the most emotional person or have the most amount of empathy, but they really want to try, okay? And the Empress represents your energy. Now, the reason I say that is not because of the female male whole situation. I read energies in tarot, not specifically genders, but the Empress is you. And the reason it's you is because the Empress is ruled by Venus and Venus rules Libra. Okay, so the Empress is your energy, whether you're male or female, just remember I don't read the um, genders, I read um, energies. And of course the Emperor would then be them because they are of course emotionally unavailable and sometimes have lack empathy. Now if this reading doesn't make sense with you, then it's not your reading, okay? So try not to panic. Instead, you can check out your other sign readings. If you're here for your sun sign, you can check out your moon, your rising, your Venus signs, okay? But try not to panic if it doesn't resonate with you. But if it resonates with you, it will resonate to the point where you'll be like, well, what I mean by that is it, it will just click in your mind that this is, you know, a reading that makes sense to you. Okay, so they want to change their ways. Basically, they want to change. Okay, so again, we've got Page of Wands that just came out on me. I like it literally just flew to me. And then for the outcome, we've got the Nine of Cups and we've got the Five of Wands here. Yeah, Page of Wands. See, it's slow and steady changes. You have the energy of like a king, okay? And they have the energy of a page. So I feel like you're an older soul. You've had way more past lives, much more life experience. You have a lot more maturity within yourself. Um, you're much more empathic but also you can feel emotions you understand emotions you understand yourself you're able to learn lessons a lot quicker they are a younger soul so it takes them time right they haven't had as many past lives not as much experience in that sense it takes them much lo longer to understand themselves what they want how they do things etc like you know, some of those things um so for the outcome so keep that in mind right Ooh. Oh, sorry, you couldn't even see that because of the lighting. Ten of Pentacles. And finally, ah, is that card okay? There you go. Okay. Five of Swords. Okay. So here's what I see is that. Nine of Cups shows a wish of getting better, wanting to be better, wanting to feel better, wanting to feel stronger. Those are the things that I really do pick up here on the cards. You know, the Nine of Cups is really about wanting to be um, a better, stronger person. And ultimately, what I really do see in regards to the energies is that the Five of Wands is this sort of conflict within themselves of the fact that they don't want to keep going in the same cycle of chaos, frustration, and feeling like they're just doing this push-pull, push-pull thing. The Ten of Pentacles shows that they are thinking about the future. They're thinking about a long-term commitment. They're thinking about um, marriage, children. Um, now, the thing is, right, when I say marriage and children, I because this is general reading, right, some people may be in situations where they don't want children, some people may be in situations where they can't have children, some people may be in situations where they'd just rather have, you know, a long-term commitment with no marriage. So whatever it is, right, that they want in the grand context of things, which I feel is just a nice long-term commitment, and for some of them it can be marriage, but remember everyone's different, so think about this person, your person in this sense, um, you know, just just recognize that that's the case. You know, some people get much older and they, they realize that they don't want to, you know, get remarried and things like that. So it's according to your situation, but ultimately they are thinking about the future. And that's what I'm picking up on. You know, fives in tarot represent perspective and change. And that's the thing that I really see here, Libra, is they want to change. Okay, they want to change. I think that something is definitely triggering them in May. I think that part of this is the Gemini energy where they just feel so all over the place, right? You've got Gemini season in May, you've got um, Mercury and Venus entering Gemini, you've got Mercury retrograde conjunct Venus, which is your energy, right? In, in many ways, Libra is ruled by Venus. Um, that's very powerful and very, very strong in, in so many ways because, you know, Venus is to do with love and Gemini is sometimes to do with the twins and the sort of like counterpart energies. Um, so that, I think, is something quite important to keep in mind, but they want to change. So 
they want to change in May, you know, but it's a gradual process. So this is your reading. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course intention items which are on Etsy. And yes, take care everyone. Bye.